And now, on to the thrilling part of our competition. The judges have made their choices, and it's time to reveal the five finalists. Your top five finalists in random order. Let's do this. First up, please step forward because you're part of our final five. Siniloan Laguna, Eliana Marie, Paduana. They're still in the running. Congratulations! Toledo City, Athena! Auxilio! Please take center stage. Mangatare Pangasinan, Kerry Riley! Joining our queens right now. Congratulations to Puerto Princesa City to my joy is our bala. And capping off our list in this year's final five is Congratulations. Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia. Sorry, live orange. Now, how exactly do you pick a winner from these five equally stunning ladies? Tough, no? Well, this could be our determining factor. The final Q&A where the final five will be asked the same question. Each of them will be given 30 seconds to answer, and once they hear this sound, that means it's time to wrap things up. And while one delegate answers, the others will be wearing sound-canceling headphones to make sure everything is fair and square. So, headphones on, I can see, okay. And on that note, let's call in our first finalist, Siniloan Laguna. Good evening. All right. Are you ready? Okay. He, this is it. The question is, what do you think people in the future would say about your generation? Again, the question is, what do you think people in the future would say about your generation? Thank you. I would definitely say that our generation, although misconstrued as very ardent, I would have to say that we use our voice for a reason. And that is to always speak up for the things that we know are right and for the things that we know we deserve. That is why we are very ardent about it. And that is why I'm also conducting colloquiums in the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and their interconnectedness to the nature in hopes to precipitate people's eco-consciousness because our future is the linebackers and the pioneers of environment mental amelioration and we should always take advantage of it at all costs thank you thank you so much in the lawn laguna speaking up letting her voice be heard this time let's have our toledo city toledo city good evening beautiful smile as always are you ready? Okay. Okay, she is ready. Home turf, by the way. <laughs> the question is, what do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? As a person who has the initiative to join this pageant, to make myself environmentally aware, I feel like our generation is the start of change because I believe that our generation has the voice to do our best 
just to make everything right in the world. As we move to a more advanced and progressive earth, it is our duty as our... Thank you. Thank you so much to Leto City. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's not easy to be on this stage. So the very fact our queens are here, it's a big feat already. Thank you. Up next, let's go to Mangatarema Pangasinan. Good evening. All right. Breathe in, breathe out. You're all set? All right. This is it. The final question is this. What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? In this generation we live in, we have a thing called cancelled where we cancel out people. And I kind of want to make a change with that. I want to spread positivity. It's all about being positive and being happy and being genuine. And I feel like, you know, the future should look at us and be like, wow, they did really good. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right. We should cancel, cancel culture. All right, be positive all the time. Maraming salamat. This time, let's have Puerto Princesa. Good evening. Let me help you with that one. All right. Puerto Princesa. Okay, you feel good? Yes, she does. Okay, this is it. Final Q&A is this question. What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? I think that we are the last generation. We should be the last generation to see the disasters, the negative impacts that we have in the environment. We should also be the first generation to make a solution. And I hope that we are the first generation that the next generations will see as the heroes of the earth. Thank you. Thank you so much, Puerto Princesa. All right. Thank you. Do you need help? Going there? Okay. She's all good. Of course, we are the generation who doesn't want disasters to happen on the stage, too. Last but not the least, we got Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia. Good evening. Hello. She feels so confident on the stage. You ready? Yes, ready than ever. Re ready ka na ba? Game ka na ba? Yes, game lang. Laban, laban. Okay. Okay. Papapalaban laban tayo ngayong gabi. Okay, this is the final question. What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? What do you think people in the future would say about your generation? They would say we are fighters. Because for too long, my generation has had our voices shunned. Especially with the climate, we have had so much anxiety thinking, will we be able to see the world the way it is for its beauty now in the future? And I'd say, those people who look down on us, they will no longer be able to see that we, we truly are fighters. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia. Palaban, laban, laban lang. With that answer, ladies and gentlemen, once again, please put your hands together for our final five. Wonderful job, ladies. And of course, best of luck to you. It's actually up to our judges to decide who among these wonderful ladies will be representing the country in the prestigious Miss Earth pageant happening later this year. And get this. The crowning of the new Miss Philippines Earth is up next when we return. Don't go away.
congratulations, Jenny, for an amazing year as Miss Philippines Earth. You definitely made us all proud. Oh, definitely. Handing us the results. Last time for the evening is Mr. Maynard Bono and partner SGV and company. Thank you so much, boss. Thank you. The dashing Mr. Bono. <laughs> and with that, let's begin with Miss Philippines Eco Tourism. And she is. Miss Philippines Eco Tourism 2023 is Toledo City Athena Auxilio. Next elemental crown is for Miss Philippines Fire. May I please have the results? Thank you so much. Thank you, Robbie. I don't have the talent of opening envelopes, apparently. <laughs> and Miss Philippines Fire! What do you think it is? It's none other than. Filipino community, Melbourne, Australia! Shari Livori! Congratulations! Remain, and the next one is for Miss Philippines Water. Miss Philippines Water 2023 is Miss Puerto Princesa Jemima Joy Zabala. And with that, the Toledo City goes wild! Well, I can't blame everyone. We're down to our last two ladies. And before anything else, ladies, may we invite you to please take a few steps forward. Ladies, please take a step forward. There we go. Center stage, maraming salamat. And this time, I will be announcing Miss Philippines Earth first, which means the remaining dog gets the Miss Philippines Air title. Okay, there is no turning back. Mr. Maynard, maraming salamat. Toledo City, let's do this! Our Miss Philippines Earth 2023 is... Siniloa Laguna! Iliana Marie Aduana! Riley. 
ladies and gentlemen, your elemental court and your Miss Philippines Open 2023, Siniloa Laguna, Hiliana Marie Aduana. Elemental Court, and we wish you a very successful year as Earth Ambassadors. This has truly been another memorable coronation night. Pirting guapaha sa ato ang nakadaog karon. Daghang salamat kaayo kaninyong tanan. At daghang salamat sa inyong lahat. On behalf of Miss Carla Henry and Miss Jamie Harold, thank you so much. This is Robbie Domingo. Daghang salamat to Leto City and to everyone watching. See you again next year. Good night.